Welcome to your extraordinary local hairstylist. It's great to see you again. If we met before, that is. <laughs> Either way, how's it going? Uh, that's unfortunate, but you know what can cheer you up? A new look, a new hairstyle, maybe? Let's head on over to my chair and we'll figure out what's best for you today, shall we? So, what are we thinking? For your hair, I mean. <laughs> I know you got something already on your brain, but like, what's on your mind in relationship to your hair? We can do a cut, cut in color, bangs if something drastic is in the cards. Highlights? That must mean something is desperately wrong. Spill, sweetie. I can't in good conscience do your hair before we get the bee out of your bonnet. So you got a bit of relationship trouble. What kind? Because I can help with all sorts of trouble. Evil X? We can talk about how crappy they are and how you're better off without them. How we should be happy they're gone and you find someone better. You're out of their league, all that good stuff. If you want some toxic advice, I can tell you to get a drink. Get on the apps and tell you it could be worse and that you need to stop dating the same type of person. Ah, so it's just a regular breakup. That's a little easier. Then again, breakups are never easy. It's just better than giving the toxic bad advice. So, the first thing I can say is that I'm here for you. This is a difficult time for you and your emotions are all valid and worth feeling. You should be sure to keep in mind that you are loved and not alone. Even discounting me, you got a bit of a support system in place, I hope. At least one person you can talk to about this. Alright, and you have me. Next, I want you to know that you can tell me anything. Hairstylist and client confidentiality agreement and all that jazz. I'm not here to pass judgment. I'd only tell someone else the things you tell me if you are in danger. Also, I'm proud of you. Telling someone about this is putting yourself in a very vulnerable position. I'm not even the type to do that, and I'm as wordy as they come. <laughs> yeah, I just find it easy to say things. So, on to the next part of me comforting you. Do you want to hang out this weekend? I have some free time. I like to spend it doing something fun. And you look like you could use a pick-me-up. There's dancing, ooh, or bowling, ooh, 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 indoor skydiving. That's always, always so fun. Okay, okay, I'll calm down. Anywho, I think it's worth saying that instead of texting your ex, text someone like me who you can trust to keep you from contacting them when you're not in the right state of mind to talk to them. I can't tell you how many times I texted an ex when I really shouldn't have. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lovely idea for this weekend. In the meantime, let's see what we can do about your hair that's a little less drastic, okay?